The Rectangular Select tool is for selecting a rectangular area on an image. Simply click and drag and that gives you the marquee of a rectangular area. You can adjust both width and height by choosing a corner, clicking and making adjustments. It works for any corner or if you go to a side you can adjust the length of the adjacent sides by simply clicking and dragging. Some options include add to the content area by clicking this icon or pressing and holding the shift key. That allows you to create a second one simultaneously. Or subtract, which you can do by pressing and holding the control key. Clicking and dragging. And you can see that it took a area out of there or pressing and holding the shift key you get intersection and it selects only the overlapping area. Some other options expand from center go to where you want the center of the selection to be click and drag and it moves out maintaining where you started as the center point rounded corners creates a selection with just that rounded corners the size depends upon your resolution of the image and so forth fixed ratio you can for example select a 2 to 3 ratio you can for example select a 2 to 3 ratio and the rectangle that you draw will be 2 units wide by 3 units tall or let's try a 3 to 4 ratio no matter how you size it or drag it it will maintain the ratio in the box here other options you may select a specific width and your selection will always be that width no matter how you drag it specific height just like before the height this time is fixed but you can adjust the width as need be and then you can also select a specific size and whatever you draw will be that size in whatever units you have chosen in this case pixel you may also adjust the starting position and then finally you may also play some guides there's various guides available such as center lines or crosshairs that shows you where the center is rule of thirds rule of fifths golden sections and finally diagonal lines and one final option to point out and that's highlight highlight helps you see what has been selected it darkens everything outside of the selection now one warning is that if you do invert it then the highlighting is no longer in effect even if you re-invert it the highlighting is gone